Game Time. My name is JJ, and today we're going to go play some regular Nintendo, and we're going to play some Castlevania. It's a really, really challenging game. It's the very first of the series. Um, it's tough. It's a tough, tough game. Uh, you can, you, they give you unlimited continues, but in the original cartridge version, after you shut off the game, there is no password system or anything. So it's a do-or-die type of game unless you want to leave your Nintendo on for a long period of time. So join me, and I'll show you the first few levels. It should be fun. Awesome. So let's get this started. Castlevania. Starts off a little intro. Simon Belmont going towards the castle. It's going to be sweet. Gets right into the action too. So typical Castlevania uh, action platformer for normal Nintendo. You know, uh, the controls are very simple. You can jump straight up or diagonally. And uh, you cannot change directions in midair. So don't even try. You're, you're going to fall down holes a lot. Now... As a uh, typical Castlevania style, the candles hold items and hearts and stuff like that for you to use as sub weapons or uh, whip upgrades. So always pick up your whip upgrade. It comes in handy so much having the chain whip. Even if you can you can't extend it, having the chain whip is a lot a lot stronger than your just your regular whip. So let's make our oh you stupid dog. All right, so we're gonna make our way through. Platforming in this game is tough. Um, making precise jumps sometimes gets frustrating, but uh, let's take out some zombies. Make our way up the stairs. Come on, uh, uh, uh. yeah! I love playing Castlevania. It's my favorite series of all time. I want to do an episode on uh, Symphony of the Night sometime, but it, it'll be fun. So let's head over to the next area here. Uh, every level has uh, three stages, so once you get to the end of the third stage of a level, uh, you fight the boss. So in this case, uh, it's going to be the big bat when we get there. Oh, little bats, get out of my way. We head down here. Oh yeah, there's mermen here. Come here. Ugh. All right, well, I'm just going to squeeze by. Head up the stairs. Your sub weapons are okay. I don't use them a whole lot. Uh, I use them, uh, I guess, in areas where I need the clock to slow down time for to just to get through. Because you take good damage in this game when uh, stuff hits you, 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 you feel it. So we're gonna make our way through here. I'll let him drop down. Ah, oh, right on. Jump down. I'm not gonna bother with them if I don't have to. And we'll grab us some hearts. And we're at the first boss. We got the big bat. I wish I would have got uh, an axe or something, but uh, I think I can manage. Come here! Oh, get over here! See, he just hovers up top, so you gotta wait for him to come down. Cheap shot him a couple times here and there. Come here! Yeah! Come here! Uh, uh. Oh, can't reach him now. Come on! Come on! Come on! Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, I got him! I got him! Come here! Ah! And the bat goes down. So that's level one. I love playing this. I just uh, I just wanted to pop it in and make an episode. Just me playing a few levels. It's fun. And it shows you the little map. Later Castlevania games do the same thing where you get to see a little map of where you're going into into the castle. So stage four, level two, stage four, whatever you want to call it. New enemy there. So no, stupid bat. So we got the new enemy, takes a couple hits, but he's still very easy to kill. And we'll make our way up top. I think this is the level we finally get to see some Medusa heads. Get off! No! Ugh. Those precise jumps, man. Get over here. Oh, I'll wait for him to come back. Come here! Uh, uh, uh. And we got some moving platforms. Get over here. Yeah! Now, this game works on points. Uh, if you get so many points, then you get a free man. Pretty simple. Uh, there's exploits later in the game, uh, I think around stage 15, that you can exploit to uh, get pretty much infinite free men. But in early versions of this game, uh, the game will glitch out because there's too many uh, pixels and uh, too many uh, sprites on the screen. So grab our secret treasure chest if you stand on this platform. And we'll head back up. It's actually not too bad. Oh, no. Do sense. Come here. No, no I'm dead. Oh, no. Woohoo. Come on. Come on. Get across. Oh, what is wrong with my controller? Come on. No. Get across. Thank you. Uh, uh. All right. Anyways, focus. 
I'm gonna end up falling in a hole here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Alright. So we'll keep going. Hopefully we can make it to the boss without dying. Hop on here. Hop on here. Make our way across. Like I said, one, uh, one of my favorite Castlevania games is Symphony of the Night, but I do enjoy Castlevania 4 for the damn Medusa head for the Super Nintendo. So we'll head through here. And we're on stage 6, so the boss should be at the end of this level. Oh yeah, there's these things I gotta get by. Alright, let's see if I can get through here. Alright, make sure I don't get smushed. And... Go! No! I, why did I jump? That was a fail. Alright, let's try this again. Up I go. Uh, I'm not gonna jump this time. Alright, grab ourselves an upgrade. Ah, screw the heart. I hate these little ghosts, man. These little ghosts screw me up. And we've got some bone pillars. Uh, uh, uh. They take about five or six hits, so dodging their fireballs is a pain in the ass too, because your whip doesn't always hit what you want it to hit. You gotta get the timing right for your whips. Oh, why did I duck? Come on. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. And we'll make our way to the next spot. Get away from me, ghost. And we'll head to the left and grab ourselves some. Oh, grab that. Whip upgrades are good. Well, Medusa hallways, and we get to fight Medusa. Sweet. This boss is pretty easy. Just keep whacking at her. Try to stay out of uh, her way. Come here, come here. Uh, 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 uh. Oh. oh, I got this. I got this. Come here, come here. See, having the whip upgrade really helps. It lets you hit her from pretty far away. Come here. Yeah pretty easy. I didn't even get hit too many times. And that would be stage 6 or level 2. Complete. I'll play one more level. And our cool little map. Go Simon! Big ass castle, man. Oh, wait. I'm going left. Come on. And we win. Grab ourselves. Holy water! Come here! Oh, damn little Igors, man. Those are like the most annoying monsters in this entire game. They just bounce around. Very unpredictable. Come here. Uh, uh. <sighs> Die. There we go. There we go. Grab. No. Oh, come you little bastards. Like, look, I haven't even made it through the first screen yet, and I'm less than half health. All right. Come on. Maybe I'll find some meat. Come here make our way across. Uh, ghosts. Uh, ghosts, skeletons, and bats. Come here. Uh, uh, uh. Come here. Oh, that, that one went down pretty good. Come here. Come here. Come down. Uh. Alright. Jump across. I got, like, no life. Come on. Grab us points. Eh. Ugh. Jumping has to be very precise. Oh yeah! If that bone would have hit me midair, I would have been straight into that hole. And we'll just keep trekking. Stage eight. Grab ourselves some hearts, and we'll keep trekking to the right. Oh, more Medusas! More Medusas! I hate Medusas. At least there's nothing I can fall down. Come on! Come on! No! No! Yeah, he's smoke him. Dodge that. Oh, oh it hit no, oh, I'm down to like one life bar. Stairs are like the only place you don't get knocked back either. Alright. See how close I can get with one life. Come on, come here. Bone pillar. Uh. Alright. Jump across. Oh, that's handy. Sweet. Yeah, the cross just destroys everything on the screen, so. Uh. Surprised I freaking survived that whole screen. Come on, get through that door. I love Castlevania. 
one more screen. Boss time! Boss time! Well, that bat just didn't come down to my level. Come here! Come here! No! Ah, oh, you stupid bat! Okay, so we make it to the mummy boss. All right, so as soon as you get here, go right to the right. Mm, 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 mm. And I usually go right to the left again, and I try to get back up onto this platform, because as long as you're up here, they can't really touch you. So you wait for them to both get together like this, and then you sneak down to the bottom block, where they, they can still hit you, but it's easier this way to just get them together and just give them hell, man. Bam, uh, come on. And their life bar goes down pretty easy, man. Yeah! And there you have it, guys. The first few levels of Castlevania for the Nintendo. This was, it was fun, man. I'm gonna play some... I think I'm gonna go play some Symphony of the Night now. Nice! So that's Castlevania for the regular Nintendo, quite possibly the hardest Castlevania game there is out there for the regular cartridge for Nintendo. So if you're up for a challenge for some classic gaming, this is the game for you. So if you enjoyed this episode of Game Time, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next episode. Peace out, happy gaming.